Doubt not the ways of the force. It tests us at times, but believe it will lead us where we are meant to be, we must. Similarly, doubt not yourself. You are a wise and capable leader. Yoda. To Mace Windu as a Jedi Master, Mace Windu was both disciplined and steadfast, as well as unwaveringly committed to the doctrine of the Jedi Order. A clever and senior member of the High Council, Windu sought to protect the Order from the corruption and unrest within the Galactic Republic. Although he firmly believed in the Jedi's role as servants of the Republic, the relationship between the Order and the Senate made him uncomfortable. Noted for his grim demeanor, Windu held corrupt politicians and rebellious Jedi in low regard. He had very little patience for the failures of the Senate and was disdainful of Jedi who disobeyed the will of the High Council. Obi-Wan Kenobi found that Windu had a habit of scowling at everyone. Holding the Jedi teachings as sacrosanct, Windu was suspicious of anyone he perceived to be a threat to the traditions of the Order. He often debated the Maverick, Jedi Ki Gon Jin, but neither of them enjoyed such discussions. A staunch traditionalist, Windu was long regarded as the great champion of the Jedi Order. His commitment to the Order's ancient traditions often put him at odds with less orthodox Jedi, such as Ki Gon Jin and especially Anakin Skywalker. When he thought Yoda was hiding something, he went straight to talk to the Grand Master, who waited for Windu to crack by not speaking. During the discussion, the two found they disagreed on whether something and nothing were opposites. Windu, feeling they were indeed opposites, was sure of himself, while Yoda did not like to presume the unknown. Windu also did not enjoy the exposure that came when one of his questions was turned back at him. Despite finding Yoda's behaviors distracting, he always respected Yoda's judgment and knew to follow his training, deciding the Force would educate him about the issue when the time came. In their first encounter, Windu was unimpressed with Skywalker. He was not only skeptical of Skywalker's status as the Chosen One, but also felt that he was too old to dedicate himself to the ways of the Jedi and the Force without the distraction of his emotional attachments. Although he never stopped doubting Skywalker, Windu came to regard him as an exceptionally skilled, yet tempestuous Jedi. Windu's ill-concealed distrust had an adverse effect on his relationship with Skywalker. While he respected Skywalker's skills, he still saw the young Jedi Knight as too emotional. As such, Windu was reluctant to believe that Skywalker was the chosen one destined to bring balance to the Force. He had grave doubts about Skywalker's appointment to the High Council at the insistence of Chancellor Palpatine, and believed it was too dangerous to have Skywalker spy on Palpatine. Kenobi felt that Windu had a special frown reserved just for Skywalker. Windu's reservations were overshadowed by the start of the Clone Wars. In the early days of the conflict, Windu wrestled with feelings of uncertainty concerning the Jedi's new role as warriors, as well as remorse for the Jedi who died during the Battle of Geonosis. In his moments of doubt, he turned to Yoda seeking wisdom and guidance. The ancient Grand Master advised his fellow counselor to keep faith in the will of the Force, nor question his role in the Order, for in Yoda's eyes, Windu was a wise and capable leader. During a mission on Hisrich, Windu's faith was further tested by his interactions with the Jedi Prosit Dibs, who harbored his own reservations about the Order's part in the conflict. Whereas Dibs grew increasingly doubtful, believing the Jedi did not belong on the battlefield, Windu became more certain that, as Jedi Knights, they had a duty to protect the innocent and restore peace to the galaxy. Dibs ultimately accused the Jedi Order of turning away from their traditions, causing Windu to hold fast to his conviction that it was not wrong to fight for the ideals he believed in. The Jedi, Windu felt, never wanted to fight in a war, but circumstances compelled them to become a sword instead of a shield for the Republic. Windu held Skywalker's apprentice, Padawan Ahsoka Tano, as another rebellious Jedi. When Tano was framed for treason, Windu supported the High Council's decision to revoke her status as a Jedi and turn her over to the Republic for a military tribunal. While their verdict pained him, Windu concurred with Tarkin's position on the matter, an internal Jedi trial would appear biased, and to protect Tano would be to defy the wishes of the Senate. He therefore felt that submitting Tano for trial was the only feasible option available to the Council. After her innocence was proven, however, Windu joined his colleagues in offering to welcome Tano back into the Order, and proclaimed her a greater Jedi because of her ordeal, which he observed as the great trial in her path to Jedi knighthood. Tano refused to come back, a decision which surprised Windu and the Council. Notwithstanding his commitment to the ancient traditions of the Order, 
the Clone Wars forced Windu to rethink some of his beliefs and preconceptions, pushing his fellow Jedi to take actions that were previously considered unthinkable. He held fast to the Order's rigid code throughout the Clone Wars, but also began to consider its potential shortcomings. Prior to the Battle of Geonosis, Windu did not believe it was in the nature of a Jedi, even a former one such as Count Dooku, to assassinate anyone. The onset of the Clone Wars caused Windu to realize that his old friend was more than a political idealist. Dooku had joined the Dark Side as an enemy of the Order and the Republic he had once served. As the death toll escalated after nearly three years of continuous warfare, Windu proposed to have Dooku assassinated in the hope of preventing further civilian casualties. Although his colleague, Obi-Wan Kenobi, asserted that assassination was against the Jedi Code, Windu pointed out that it was also against the Jedi way to allow innocent people to suffer needlessly.